Hello everyone. In this lesson, we want to make T the subject of the formula. Okay. Now S is like the king of this formula because only X owns the left hand side. And you can see so many letters at the left, at the right. In the right hand side, we have U, T, and A. But S is staying alone. So S is the king. But now we don't want X. We want X to go away. We want another king. So we want T to be the king because this S has been here so many times. So let's T be the subject. Let's get there. To make T the subject, I can rearrange, I can write that uh, UT plus uh, half AT squared equal to S. That is something. Left is equal to right, so right is equal to left. Because my T is at the right here, so I always want the letter that I want to make the subject to stay at the uh, left hand side. Now, because of this fraction, 2, I can decide to multiply everything by 2. So, 2 times ut will give me 2ut. If I times half by 2, I'm getting 1. So, 1 times at squared will still give me at squared. So, 2 times s is a 2s, right? Good. So let me first of all write the one with the power of 2 first. So I can have a t squared plus 2 ut. This is positive. Coming to the left turns to negative 2s. Everything is equal to 0. Now, even if you want to make t subject directly by factoring out t, you can factor out t. Because if, if you bring out t, this is t squared, t will be left. So it's difficult to factor out t. Your only savior is the almighty formula students call it almighty but it is not almighty only god is the almighty so we call it quadratic formula so because we want to make t subject so the quadratic formula can now be t equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything all over what 2a now our a is the first term our a is the coefficient of the power of 2, which is a. Our b is the coefficient of t, which is 2u. Our c is the con constant term, which is minus 2s. From here, we can now substitute in the formula. So t becomes minus b. Look at our b. We have minus 2u plus or minus square root of b squared so we have 2u all squared minus 4ac a is a and c is minus 2s everything over 2a a is t a so from here t is equal to minus 2u plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4 then u squared right 4u squared then minus 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 is plus 4a times 2s is 8as everything all over what 2a so t should be minus 2 minus 2u plus or minus square root of 4 it's come on here let me factor out 4 so if i factor out 4 um 4u squared divided by 4 is u squared and 8as divided by 4 will give me 2as. Everything all over what? 2a. So t becomes minus 2u plus or minus. What is the square root of 4? Of course, square root of 4 is 2. Root u squared plus 2as. Everything all over what? 2a. Now, 2 is here, 2 is here. Let me factor it out. So I'll have t is equal to 2 into minus 2u divided by 2 is minus u plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is 1. So 1 times this is still the same thing as this. u squared plus 2as. Then everything all over what? 2a. So 2 we cancel out 2. Therefore, t is now minus u plus or minus square root of u squared plus 2as. Then everything all over what? A. Okay, so this can be the subject of the formula. When you make T the subject, you can have this. So either T is the positive or T is the 
negative. Bye.